Good morning, you guys. So I've set the healing intentions as per the usual. So go ahead and decree that you want that for your highest and greatest good if you want. Um, I'm standing back. I've got my coffee on the bar so that I can um, have a little coffee before I start reading these cards. So I had somebody ask me if I could do a reading on Nasara. And the question was, uh, what can the people do in preparation for Nasara? Well, you know me. I mean, I have to first, I have to lay out cards asking if it's even real, right? Because we can't just assume stuff with the cards. We have to we have to ask if it's real. But Nasara would, um, so Nasara would increase benefits for senior citizens. It would zero out debt with the banks, like your credit card payments, your mortgage payments, things like that, because the banks uh, have been running under a corrupted system. So that debt would be forgiven. Your senior citizens would start getting bigger benefits, which would be good because, I mean, they work their whole lives and then they can barely afford food and heat or medicine and heat. They have to make hard choices all the time. Let me take a sip of my coffee. So it would also create a flat rate um, on non-essential items, you guys. So... Anything that's not essential, we'd have a flat rate fee. So basically what's been going on is we've been paying tax and we've been taxed to death, right? So you buy a vehicle, you pay tax on it. You sell that vehicle, the person has to pay tax on it. I mean, the the houses, they get taxed and taxed and taxed with every sale. <sighs> they just keep, you know going nuts with these taxes. They just in tax, they just tax us to death. So there'd be a flat rate that was, that was created on non-essential new items only. So you wouldn't be paying taxes on things like food, medicine, clothes, you know, your essential things. Um, and then it said that, you know, the theory behind Nassara is that all courts will be returned back to constitutional law. Elections will be monitored, right? So that they're not doing all of this shady stuff with these special election groups, um, special interest groups. And then, of course, we would have this new currency and it would be backed by it would be backed by precious metals, gold um, and probably silver. So. Yeah, the income tax would be abolished, so we wouldn't be paying income tax. And that's where the flat rate on the other things would come into, right? So we'd have a flat rate on all non-essential items, and then, um, you know, that's how we would create, like, money and wealth for whatever we're going to call the system afterwards. I'm going to get one more drink of my coffee because I hate the word government. Um, so I'd like to see that get renamed. Honestly, the, the energy around that word is not good. So first I asked if this was even something that was real. I had, you got to ask that, right? So the first question I had, I'm going to just kind of move the car, the phone back here so that it's not glaring. Because uh, it's still early, and that's how it works. You know how it is, guys. So I had to ask if Nasara was a real thing. And the first card that I got up was the strength card, right? So yes, it's actually a very strong, strong idea. Many and and you know, leaders have talked about it. Good people have talked about it. It's something that they would like to bring into being. But across from this, there have been many disappointments. All right. So lots of disappointments when it comes to Nasara, because, yes, it's strong, but we've been waiting. It's been disappointing. Um, leaders have wanted to do it. They've been kind of working on this under the surface and in secret. OK, so it is it. It's definitely a gift. This is driving the reading. It's definitely a gift that wants to be brought in. But there's there's been a long wait because there's a lot to it. There's there's a lot under the surface that that needs to come up to implement this thing. But yes, it's a real thing. It's real. Like it's in the ethers. It's strong. The the 
the leaders have talked about this, like this is a real thing. So then I, there's been many disappointments, right? It's, it's been, if you want to read it that way too, you know, there's been many disappointments because it's been crossed over maybe even three times. In other words, like, you know, strong, waiting, 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 disappointed. Oh, can't happen. Right. So leaders wanting to do it, working hard in secret, then it's disappointing. You know, there's, there's so much to this story, but you understand what's happening. It's strong. It's talked about in the ethers. People have wanted to do it. Leaders have wanted to bring it in. It's, it's been held up, held up, held up, creates a lot of disappointment. It's kind of done in secret, right? So they're trying to do this in secret. Every time they've tried to do it, they've tried to do it in secret. But it looks as though things have been found out and then it stops it from being, right? So I said, give us a little story because, you know, give us a little story around this, around these disappointments and, and whatnot. So what I got was the story that I got around that is it's been tied up. It's, it's been held up, tound, tied up and bound, held on to. Basically, it's the um, deep state. So the deep state has stopped this from all coming into being sooner, right? And with this, it could be, you know, like I said, this could be like as many as three disappointments, like maybe up to three times leaders have tried to implement this system and it's been hijacked and stopped by these bad guys. All right. But it is real. It is real. It's talked about and it's something that has been wanting to be implemented. So then I asked, you know, is this, is this ever going to come into fruition? Like, are we the people ever going to see this Nasara actually happen? And the card that I got was the emperor. So I got a yes on that one, you guys. Yes, this will happen. I mean, this will happen, right? It's going to happen. It, there's no getting around it with that high with that higher arcana card, giving us a yes on that. This is a very healing card too. So, um, so that's good. I asked if it was ever going to, if it's ever going to come into fruition and we got a definite yes. So I said, you know, um, I said, so, cause this is how I always think this is a lot to do, right? You know? So I'm like, this is, this is a lot. I just rattled off a lot of the stuff on, on Nasara, and I think there's a lot more. That's just like the basics, right? So I asked, you know, can you show us uh, what needs to happen for this to happen? And so what I got was systems and breaking new ground. So we have a lot of systems, and as you just heard in what we were saying Nasara represents, I mean, you've got things like the Fed and you've got the banks and, you know, Social Security has to like there's all these different things that have to take place. So I was like, all right, so the system, there's all these systems and it's like breaking new ground with all of these systems. OK, so I said this, I said, all right, so can you tell me, will this start happening in phases? Because that seemed that has always seemed kind of, to me, what would take place if this ever did take place, that it would have to happen in phases, right? So I wanted to know, is this going to be implemented when it's implemented in phases? And I got the world. So yes, that's a higher arcana card. Yeah, it's going to happen in phases because all of these systems, you guys, have to be like redone and break a new ground. So it's going to, it's just going to happen in phases. Like they'll get one thing done and that phase will happen. You get another thing done, that phase can happen. Do you see? So it's going to have to happen in phases. There's a, this complication, this pretty complicated process. But we know that maybe it, maybe it was meant to come into being at least three times, but it's been, it's been stopped by these bad guys. Um, and we know that, you know, a lot of the work that they're trying to do with this, they're trying to do it in secret, 
You know, this is very secretive. And I would imagine it so that these guys don't know what these guys have been wanting to do. And that's why, And but then they find out and that's where all the disappointments come from. So, but it is very, it's very strong. Leaders want to do it. There have been a lot of disappointments, you know, there's been a lot of disappointments. It's been crossed over before, but these leaders are, tr they've tried to do this in secret. There have been holdups and disappointments, but driving the reading, the universe does want to bring in those gifts. This is something the universe wants to bring in. It's just that, you know, we've had to wait and wait and wait, but it is there under the surface, you guys. So, I mean, you can read this in a lot of different ways and every way that you read it, you know, it says this is a real thing for sure. Okay, you guys. So it absolutely is real. There's no way that you can read this that says it's not. Um, but it does tell you about many of the disappointments, you guys. So, but it does say, you know, we it, it is something that's actually going to come into being. Um, the systems have to be redone. They've all the systems have to be redone, you guys, and that it will come out in phases. So the next thing that I asked was, um, so now that I knew all of that information, right, now that we've gotten a good beat on that, I was asked, you know, what she wanted to know what we should do in preparation and waiting for this to happen. So this is how I look at it, you guys. You know, until the, until the blessing's right in, your, right in your hand, live your life as though it's not there. That's my, that's my way. So like, Pay your bills, pay your mortgage. Um, if that makes you feel safe, I know a lot of people are going against that and they're, and they're working on um, sovereignty. And, you know, that's a personal choice um, whether or not people want to do that or not. But my idea is, um, you know, you make logical, for me personally, I make very logical choices. I pay my bills. Um, I pay my bills and I do things that, but I don't pay them begrudgingly. You guys, every time I pay a bill, I'm like, Ooh, that feels so good. I got my bill paid. I make it a happy process. I make it, um, into something that makes me feel blessed. When the groceries come in, I feel blessed. When the bills are paid, I feel blessed. You know, when the wood is bought and the heat is secure, I feel blessed. And and I make it a celebration. I don't do it begrudgingly. That's just me because I want to be able to pay my next bill happily too. And I feel personally, in my humble opinion, the way that I work and the way that I manifest, that we 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 uh, allow that money to go out, take care of our needs, and that allows flow. And you do that happily because then that brings in more flow. Does that make sense to you guys? This is just me. I'm just sharing how I go about my life. And I'm always like looking around and just being so thankful for my blessings. And, you know, every single thing in my life is a blessing. Everything. And that makes life a lot better for me. Makes life a lot happier for me. So anyway, now that I've rambled on about, you know, manifesting my life and living my life the way that I feel uh, helps me continue to live my life in a positive flow. I'm going to tell you what the universe said. So the universe says in preparation for all of this to happen, the advice for you guys is, you know, that you continue to heal yourself because the king of cups is a great healer. If he's not being set up to be, you know, nefarious. And the question is, what can you folks do to prepare yourselves for this system as it's implemented? So continue to heal yourself. So healing yourself would, would be continue to get the things that you need. So, you know, continue to buy your groceries and your toilet paper and your medicine and, and your pet food and continue to take care of your needs, which is like if you're paying your bills, pay your bills. If you're working on sovereignty, continue to work on, you know, being sovereign, however it is that you're doing it, but continue to meet your needs, Right. And do that. So then above, above continuing to, to meet your needs, we have the lovers. So do that without considering it being this big hump to get over, right? The advice is to do this 
in a way, just like I was saying, in a way that makes you feel good, right? Don't look at it like, oh my God, I can't afford to do this. Like, even if it's hard and you can't afford to do it, whatever it is that you're doing, do it happily, okay? Don't do it as though there's this huge hump that you're struggling with. Start manifesting that life is, is easier and that flow. The universe can help you get better in flow that way, you guys. It's how energy works. It really is. So then across from that, you know, the advice is continue to look out and envision your new world while taking care of yourself happily without feeling like it's a huge negative thing, right? So take care of yourself happily. Continue to look out at the world and decipher what you, what it is that you want and envision the world that you want. So keep manifesting this into being because you want that, right? And keep manifesting all the other good things like the children are safe and, you know, um, systems are redone in a way where people thrive rather than, you know, being oppressed. So, yeah, you know. Continue to look out and manifest your best life. Keep your spiritual practices up. Keep keep your prayers going. Keep your meditation going. Keep your visualization going. You know, use, use the power of the mind. Use the power of the mind in a positive way, okay? So that's the advice. Keep taking care of yourself. Do it happily. Keep doing your visualization and your spiritual work. Because the energy drive in this reading is really that this is karmic, okay? So, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is driving this, this reading, saying that these losers have to come back down onto the bottom. Everybody that's been op oppressing us and creating debt slaves and, you know, it's karmic that this happens. They've got to go back to the bottom. You know, all of their dark deeds, everything is coming to end, okay? So they're not going to be able to keep holding us up because they're coming to an end, you guys. It's just karmic. See how the devil's on the bottom here? He's on the bottom. So, yeah, he's on the bottom. So it's karmic. The, all of their dirty deeds are coming to end, which means if they're coming to end, you guys, they're not going to be able to keep doing this, right? Right? So when this gets ready to come out in phases, in phases, they're not going to be able to stop it this time because they're ending. So, you know, the universe says just keep taking care of yourself. Do it happily. Manifest your best life. Keep up your spiritual practices because this is karmic. All of that dark stuff is going to come to end. It's it's just going to, it has to. So they're not going to be able to keep screwing with us that way. This is going to be able to be put in motion, right? Even though there's been disappointments and whatnot, this is very strong and people are going to bring that forward. The universe wants to gift it to us. There is, there is still a waiting period. That's what's driving this reading. So the universe does want to bring in the gifts. There is still a waiting period. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Stuff under the surface, right? It's got to be done. That's what we got over here. The systems have to all have the new ground broken, but that we really are going to get it, and it's going to come out in phases. So it's not going to be something that you just wake up to and everything's done, but it'll be implemented in phases. So I hope that you found a little value in this. I hope that this answered the question. Um... And yeah, breathe in the healing if you so choose, stand in your power and decree it. And uh, yeah, I hope that you found some value in this. So until next time, you guys, you know, sending you all much, much love and many, many blessings from me to all of you. All right, take care.